Well, we don't think it's going to be necessary. I don't want to leave troops there. It's very dangerous for, you know, we had 28 troops as it turned out. People said 50, it was 28. And you had an army on both sides of those troops. Those troops would have been wiped out. Uh, I don't think it's uh, necessary, other than that we secured the oil. It's in a little different section, but we just secured the oil. And the other reason, region where we've been asked by Israel and Jordan to leave a small number of troops is a totally different section of Syria near Jordan and close to Israel. And that's a totally different section. That's a totally different mindset. So we have a small group uh, there, and we've secured the oil. Other than that, there's no reason for it, in our opinion. And again, the Kurds are going to be watching. We're working with the Kurds. We have a good relationship with the Kurds. But we never agreed to you know, protect the Kurds. We fought with them for three and a half to four years. We never agreed to protect the Kurds for the rest of their lives. Remember this. When Iraq was fighting the Kurds, everybody thought we were going to fight with the Kurds. I said, well, it's a little strange that we're fighting with the Kurds when we just spent $4 trillion on Iraq, and now we're going to be fighting Iraq. So what I did is I said, we're not going to take a position. Let them fight themselves. I thought the Kurds would do very well. Everyone said, oh, the Kurds will do very well. Well, Iraq moved in, and the Kurds left. They didn't fight because they didn't have us to fight with. A lot of people are good when they fight with us. You know, when you have $10 billion worth of airplanes shooting 10 miles in front of your line, it's, it's much easier to fight. But with that, they were a good help. But we were a great help to them, too. They were fighting ISIS. You know, they hated ISIS. So they were fighting ISIS. But we never agreed. Where is an agreement that said we have to stay in the Middle East for the rest of humanity, for the rest of, of uh, civilization? to protect the Kurds that never said that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.